Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today's video is about to be a little bit of a different one. It's about to be a story it's about my first high school party going into one. And I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe to the notifications and let's get into it. So today's story takes place like a couple weeks ago. So after me getting caught at school or whatever, like selling, you know. So if you want to, you can call this a part two to that story. So yeah, I wake up tired as a bitch at my cousin's house or whatever because I was spending the night at his house like the night before and I didn't get that much sleep. So I go tell my cousin or whatever, I'm about to go leave or whatever and I say goodbye to him and get home and take a shower and get ready and stuff like that. Because already told my friend i was about to show up like two days prior so yeah go to the parks i go meet up with my friend or whatever yeah i don't know why bro i don't make this shit up or anything bro but like every time i make a story time it's like 50 percent of the time i'm always at this fucking park i don't know why it's like it starts like a regular show episode bro like i swear <laughs> i swear like if any future shit happens bro it's gonna be like a recurring theme the fucking park because I, i'm too lazy to go get my fucking license keep in mind too like my dad's under the impression that like i went to like my friend's house and played model for two like that type of shit so anyway back to the story so i meet up with my friend or whatever we go to the own party because it's the forest or whatever and um there's about like 10 people or something like that 11 people at the party at this point i don't really know like anybody at all at the party except for like my friend that like invited me to the party and then this one chick from my classroom that was there as well and then my one friend from um uh, middle school i was just saying what's up to everybody and whatever and i see my one friend that i was selling to coincidentally the story of time yeah big coincidence i know i said what's up to him and he was like yo holy shit bub what brings you here man how you doing and then we dap up each other whatever and he just looks obliterated as fuck and then my one friend that i met up with i'm gonna call marco for the sake of the story so yeah marco was like i knew y'all met each other already so yeah me and my boy richard were catching up i'm gonna call him richard for the sake of the story so me and him were catching up telling him like how i got caught and stuff like that because he legit just seen me like the period before so he didn't know like what happened so like after i told him then he was like dude that's fucked who even told on you and i was like i don't even know i thought it was gonna be you because like we just met last period and i assume my teacher seen it because like he wanted to hit my shit in the middle of class i don't know why and yeah don't be a fucking idiot like me and it's like your fucking friend hit your like dad pen or something like that in the middle of class don't fucking do that shit okay matter of fucking fact i think it was him because like he ripped me up before for having my fucking phone on my desk i wasn't even on my phone my shit was on my desk like legit the fucking whole second part of the year this dude was fucking dick riding me be like get off your phone bro get off your phone nigga i'm not even on my phone like damn bro it just pisses me off for even thinking about it like damn like bro i swear everybody fucking hated this guy like this teacher is just an asshole father too by the way anyways back to the story me and my other friend um go walk to the other people in the party and this one girl recognizes me being like yo what's up bub i was like what's up and um it was like it was this one chick from my eighth period class that i had this year we're gonna call her vicky for the sake of this story time and she was like i treat that one kid that got faded in a hole every time you came to class and i was like you could say that and then we start talking whatever and then eventually all of us start smoking and then we was we were just having a good time you know she was telling us like a bunch of stories like how she was like rolling up like outside the fucking window or something like that hey me personally i don't know how the fuck you do that and not get caught but she's a fucking legend for that shout out to her like dead ass i don't even know how the fuck she'll do that because like, it feels like me in that situation bro i'll be like shaking and shit like that i might fucking drop a little bit and fucking get caught because i'm like looking over my shoulder and stuff like that like how eventually out of nowhere everybody just splits up or whatever then one person is like out there going get wood three of us are like the campfire then the rest of the people are just fucking swimming inside that toxic ass lake of like of just garbage plastic fucking save the planet oh my gosh eventually like 30 minutes later like the hopes of the party leaves and it's just like the eight of us or whatever just hanging out and then two other people show up with their bikes and stuff like that just start smoking as well eventually like the campfire dies down the whole party dies down it's just like five of us or whatever and, and this one dude we're gonna call him steven for the sake of the story he was like you guys want to have an after party at my house because the shit was getting boring and just the whole party is just dying down in general at first i was being a little bit suspicious being like bro we just met today i was just thinking that then i was like no what fuck it, i'm gonna tag along so yeah we all head to steven's house because it's just me steven richard and vicky we get to his house and plus like his parents don't give a fuck that we're there because you know they trust their son steven it's funny as fuck too because like right when we fucking walked into his house or whatever we just started fucking eating the shit out of his pantry bro like we just taking everything out of there chewing on it eating his legs eating his checks mix eating all of his cheeses his oreos i just felt bad for this guy bro after we fucking raided his pantry and ate all the snacks and massacred it we went downstairs to watch a movie or something like that on netflix not gonna lie bro we was all hungry still after we ate all the fucking snacks so i'll go hop on my phone right go check my apple pay or something like that see how much i have left i was surprised to see 16 dollars in my bank account right there on my apple pay so i was just like let me go get some doordash man and i was like what y'all want from uh taco bell and then it was like bro we get some we need to get some burritos hey so knowing me i fucking went ham okay i'm about to order seven burritos and one cheese roll up and that's what we fucking got bro and bro when the fucking food got there bro it was like a nico avocado mukbang set bro there were just seven burritos in the fucking bed bro one cheese roll up and we had we we just devoured it bro i don't i don't know what else to put it it's just gone so yeah after we finished our taco bell we went back outside and started a second bonfire we're just all hanging out around the campfire singing on the campfire song not playing we were just hanging around the fire just chilling out and stuff like that and then my one friend richard had to go because his grandma wanted to home like an hour ago and it's like 8 p.m bro so like he was like he 
was like, oh, fuck. Anyways, just three of us now. Now we're fucking bored as hell. And then Vicky, the legend she is, man, Um, she just says out of nowhere, you know what can fucking fire breathe? And we just paused for a second, just looked at each other. And we were just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Dude, she was being serious. She was like, I can fucking fire breathe. And I was like, show me. Don't ever do this, guys. Don't fucking challenge somebody and be like, show me. If they say they can fucking fire breathe, okay? Don't do that for future reference. Anyways, I was like, show me. And then she was like, okay, I can show you. I can show you. She asked Steven where the fire fluid is at. And then he was like over there. And then she goes walking towards it. And then starts drinking it. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? She was just drinking the whole thing. Like filling her mouth up with um, fire fluid or whatever. And for some reason, she has like a flannel inside of her backpack. So she goes like to her backpack and like just takes out a flannel. It just rips it. It puts it on a piece of stick or whatever. And then she leans over to the fire and breathes it out. Like actually fire breathes. Like, like bro, when I tell you, bro, she's like the coolest person ever. She's the fucking coolest person ever. Like who the fuck knows a friend who fire breathes? Okay. Like, bro, I wish I could show y'all footage right now, but, like, I can't really because, like, it's TOS against YouTube or whatever because we're minors. So, I had to show you guys, like, a little, like, you know, a sample or something like that for YouTube. So, here it is, man. That will be the end of the story today, I guess, because, like, that's just, like, the peak of the story because nothing else really happens afterwards. So, what did you guys think about the story? Like, how did y'all enjoy it? Um, more of the story is just, like, don't smoke weed or nothing like that. Don't do drugs. It's bad for you. Like, yada, 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 whatever. Especially don't fucking fire breathe, bro. You need to be professional. Don't ever do that unless you can teach that. And also, guys, go follow my kick as well because there'll be a link in the description. We're on the road to um, 20 followers. When we get to 20 followers, I'll start streaming on kick. Be chatting with you guys. Overall, just about to be fun as fuck, man. I can't wait to start streaming on kick. Anyways, it's been your boy Bub. I'll see you all in the next video.